To mark International Women's Day this Sunday, we've been talking to women who've had life-changing impacts on others. Tonight we hear from Mary Stoy from Bottisford in Leicestershire, whose 10-year-old daughter Rosie May was murdered by a teenage boy at a Christmas party back in 2003. It was a crime that shocked the entire country. Well, as the family tried to rebuild their lives, Mary put all her efforts into turning a terrible tragedy into something positive and life-changing. Balvinda Sidhu went to meet her at Beaver Castle, where a ball is being organised in memory of her daughter. It's been 17 years since Mary Storey lost her daughter in the most tragic circumstances. Rosie May was 10 when she was killed at a family friend's Christmas party in 2003. Mary says she doesn't think she will ever recover from her loss. I think it's always very raw and actually it always really surprises me how raw it is when, um, you know, when we revisit. And I think that, I think it will always be like that. A year after Rosie's death, the family went to Sri Lanka and found themselves caught in the Asian tsunami. They survived, but around them there was complete devastation with just one exception. We'd planted a little palm tree the day before in memory of Rosie May. And afterwards, we went back to look for that palm tree, thinking that it obviously wouldn't be there. And we found it, and um, it stood there absolutely untouched with debris swirling around it. So we kind of felt that was a sign from Rosie May. To, it was our inspiration, actually, to do something in her memory, but to create a living legacy that would last forever. Mary decided she wanted to help families affected by the disaster and opened the first children's home in Sri Lanka four years after Rosie's death. I certainly felt that I needed to do something extraordinary just to be able to kind of get out of bed in the morning and to take myself out of my comfort zone, obviously to be able to do that. And, um, you know, it, it wasn't easy, it still isn't easy, but I think um, it gives us a purpose and it gives us a way of channeling our grief into a positive. To actually go on in such a positive manner and lift herself out of that, I think it's good for other people um, that see dark times to, to know that there is a way forward. And I think Mary, actually, she shows that. Since then, Mary has taken the charity from strength to strength. Last year, they launched the Pink Tuk Tuk project in Sri Lanka, which supports single mothers to stay with their children just empowers them on so many levels you know and um, they will tell me that before you know nobody spoke to them you know they would walk down the street and somebody would cross the other side of the road because they were a single parent because they were poor you know etc etc but now you know they're recognized and acknowledged in the community chris stanley has volunteered for the charity for 14 years she says she admires mary in anybody's life she touches she leaves a mark, I think, and for me she's been very inspirational and the fact that she has so much love to give to so many people and she invests so much time in helping others to be empowered, to keep going and keep family units together and I think that's her biggest legacy. Mary has lost her own child but she has made it her life's mission to ensure other parents don't ever experience her pain and loss. Balvinder Sidhu, ITV News, Beaver Castle. Just incredible that so much good has come from what was a, an awful situation mm. for that family. Actually, on tomorrow's programme, we're going to continue uh, our series marking International Women's Day uh, with a very special poem recorded just for us. So tune in uh, for that tomorrow. <laughs>